What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Charles Leclerc F1 Driver Career in F1 24. And if you guys did not watch the last episode at Charles' home Grand Prix, the Monaco Grand Prix, last time out, I highly recommend you go check that out because with their alert incoming in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Boom. Second place at the Monaco Grand Prix. I put it third in qualifying, so we were looking pretty decent, but uh, we, well, we got, we undercut signs, so we were looking good. We got past Max on the first lap. Max was on the hard tire starter, starting, and me and Science were on the medium. We undercut signs, but I got held up by Daniel Ricciardo when Max Verstappen just beat us out of the pits. If I would have beat him out of the pits, I would have been able to hold him off, but it just wasn't meant to be. We are now 13 points behind Max in the championship. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's that's really all there is to it. Just a few guys who are still yet to score points. Uh, anybody new score points? Alvin got another point on the board at Monaco. Good for him. Stroll. Yeah, I mean... We have some guys here who have been really close to points. Gasly's been 11th twice. Like, he's been really close. Magnussen got an 11th at Monaco. Got a few guys who are close to points here. What's the upgrade situation looking like? Um, actually, I did already set those good. Um, where is my R&D? There we are. So we have a major aerodynamic, a major engine, and a minor aerodynamic upgrade in the works. That'll put, if we get all three of those in, that'll put us ahead of McLaren and Red Bull. And Carlos Sainz is currently working on a minor chassis upgrade and a minor durability upgrade. So that is very, very interesting. But today, 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 we have my home Grand Prix, baby. Uh, it's only a 12 hour drive down the road. <laughs> Just, but um, so I'm glad NASCAR's not coming here in 2025. Not yet, at least. I'll stick to my 12-hour drive to New Hampshire and 16 to Pocono for now, but... Circuit Gilles Villeneuve should be a firecracker of a race today. I'm pumped. I'm sure you guys are pumped, but man, whenever I hear I'm going to Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, it, it gets me going in the morning. I, I It gets me going. I love this track. It's... Oh, man. I've actually never been here. I've been, how many times have I been to Montreal? I want to say, like, four or five times I've been to Montreal, and I've never went to the track. Never. Never been around for F1 Grand Prix weekend, too. I'm obviously going to have to look into when Formula One's coming next year, see when it blends into the NASCAR section. I know... Oh, I think there might be in Michigan that weekend. Oh, God, that could be a controversial one, but... Oh man, Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. I gotta get here one of these days. I'm done ranting. Let's just get into the Canadian Grand Prix. Let's let's get closer to Max in this title fight. And yeah, man. Get Charles some big points in Canada. And it's currently raining outside. How fitting. But let's head to Montreal, see how we do. Montreal is not only the second largest French-speaking city in the world, but it's home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. The name Villeneuve looms large over this one, but who can write their own legends today? With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are some of the quickest on the Formula One calendar. There are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the lap taken at full throttle, and average speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he'll start from pole position. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Hamilton, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Perez, Stroll, Russell, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Ocon, Joe, Bottas, Magnussen, Ricardo, Albon, Sonoda, and Logan Sargent. 
It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Alrighty then, starting from P3 here at home. I was so close to pole, I had two purple sectors and then screwed up the final sector. Of course. Leave it to me, but oh well. It is what it is, unfortunately. Lando Norris will lead the field to green. Uh, Max Verstappen lines up a close second. If we can just jump Max on the start and worry about Lando later, I can take that. But man, it's going to be a fun, fun race here in Montreal. Um, yeah, okay, Norris is starting on the hards. That makes things even more interesting. Then Verstappen, myself on mediums, Piastri on hards too. I don't know what McLaren are thinking, but okay. They're obviously want to try something different, so let's get into it. Start with E3 and pivot. Radio check. Well, for the first time ever, Lando Norris gets a good jump off the start, but we get a better one. New leader okay, in Montreal, Charles Leclerc. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. Okay, thank you. First, third to first on the first corner. Oh. Crap! Damn it! Now I'm going to lose all that time back. I legit thought to myself, I was like, man. I did not think that start was that good, but apparently it was. Apparently it was that good, but so we the Yeah, we're going to try and stay on the heels of this McLaren, and hopefully we can do that. So the race is on. One thing I do have is brakes. No need to worry I can about send the it into the corner now, deeper. And, and I'm going to take advantage of that. Alright. Save some overtake. Continue on. Retaking the position I should have kept earlier. There we go. No oversteer through there. We're good. Let's go. Battery charges oh, high. Can't Let's escape this guy, can I? I hope that was the DRS protection point right there, because if so, that'd be amazing. But I don't want to fight him too much through these corners, because I know the Norris can come up on me here any minute. Yeah, if he gets alongside me here on the straightaway, I'll let him have it. Quite my cleanest, but it'll do. All right. Still P1, holding it down. Missed the downshift there, but it's okay. What? What's wrong? Oh my God, I'm blowing up. No, 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 no. No, dude, are you serious? Oh, that's my first time ever getting a mechanical failure, dude. There's no way my home Grand Prix, I'm leading an IDNF. Dude, you're kidding. And in the end, there was no for stopping. Max Verstappen, he takes victory. Oh my God. Are you joking well, that's me? That's two wins in a row for them now. That's really going to help them Are gain confidence and start to build me? that momentum that they're really going to be looking for. 
Man. Oh, God. This is going to be such a short video now. Red Bull puts this up an outstanding fight for the front position video. today, no and it's great to see it paid off for them. At all. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted Man. by today's race win. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Anywhere else I could have had my first DNF. Literally anywhere else but here, my home Grand Prix. Anywhere else this could have happened to me. Literally anywhere else. Oh, that's a soul crusher. Man. Oh, wow, man. Wow. Don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to say. Max Verstappen wins, followed by Lando Norris. Oscar Piastri, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll, Nico Hulkenberg rounds out the last points position. Alex Albin, Kevin Magnussen, Yuki Tsunoda, Esteban Ocon, Valtteri Bottas, Zhou Wang Yu, Daniel Ricciardo, Pierre Gasly, Logan Sargent, and your lone DNF is yours truly. Man. Oh, 38 points now. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Everything can change just like that, man. It's crazy. Let's take a look at this on the replay. Look. There. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's this lap here. So, oh yeah, so it, I so I'm just driving along here, and I see it go red here, and I'm like, what? And I'm like, I look back, and it's like, well, I start driving for a bit. It's like, okay, it's good. It's gonna let me drive, and then it's like, oh no, you have a mechanical failure. I'm like, what? I've never had this before. Literally, I swear on my life, first time, first time, and we have to DNF. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's brutal. That is painful. I'm. I know I already saved the replay, but I'm just gonna save it again to make sure. Oh my god, dude, that's that's a soul crusher. That's an absolute soul crusher. Well, I did not expect this video to be this short. God, that bites. God, that bites. But. Hey man, not much you can do about it. It is what it is. We deal with, we play the cards we've been dealt, and we go on to the next. The tar, the turbocharger was the one that gave out. So next race, you will see us with a brand new turbocharger at the Spanish Grand Prix. Ah oh, man, damn it! Oh, that's such a huge blow in our hunt for the championship, but. It is what it is. Yeah, um, guys, I should mention, by the way, for the My Team Career Mode fans, that will be back next week. I've had a hell of a time trying to get the Leverkusen Career Mode finished. I'm about to go record the last two episodes after this as we speak, so just stay patient. The, the Leverkusen Career, it will be back. Or not the Leverkusen career, the F1. The My Team career. It will be back shortly. Just needed to take a quick pause so I can finish the Leverkusen career mode. FC25 comes out. Man United career mode will be fish bashing and boshing. Uploads of that will be flying. But yeah, guys. Oh, unbelievable. I can't believe that happened. But yeah, I'll see you in Barcelona. Let's go give them hell in Spain. Take care and peace.